Color 10 News at 6. It's not easy, but it is worth it. The reuniting of families and anybody who feels that they are way past beyond help, that is not true. September is recovery month, and today a group of people in the Ozarks are celebrating their recovery from addiction. Color 10's Crystal Blair joins us live now. She stopped by Table Rock State Park where some are celebrating, and that's where the celebration is going on. Crystal. Hi, Jen. That group is called Peeps in Recovery, and that stands for Peers Encouraging Peers. I should say Peers Encouraging and Empowering Peers. And this is a group that meets together annual, annually. This was their fourth annual today, and it was just a wonderful thing. I heard so many amazing recovery stories. <laughs> After being arrested for her eighth DUI, Patricia Sams was put through a court ordered program that she calls a blessing. I was looking at seven years minimum in prison this time. I was, had already been incarcerated multiple times and spent two and a half years in prison in Michigan. When she completed the program, she was compelled to help others who were dealing with addictions, but in a more in depth way. Getting them integrated back into the community, finding the resources that they need to give them a chance. Four years ago, Sam started Peeps in Recovery. So I've always just kind of felt by myself. Bartholomew Handworker has been with Peeps for eight months. A year ago, I was living on the streets in Orlando, homeless, uh, eating out of trash cans. Uh, doing everything I had to do just to find a place to take a shower. I was about to jump off a bridge, and uh, the police actually showed up right before I, I did, and they pulled me over. That was a turning point. My idea of it shifted from wanting to die but being too scared to do it to after being right there in that moment. Um, I have so much life to live. Today, hand workers celebrates recovery and a new life. I have been taken off probation. I've got my license reinstated. I bought a car. Um, I'm f employed full time at Chili's Barn Grill here in Branson. I can do anything I want. <laughs> And that's such a great feeling. And participating in activities like volleyball is all a part of the recovery process. And it's about competing because we still have um, we still have so much fun. We have trophies and we have ribbons and we have um, prizes and raffles. And Sam tells me that social activities like the one that they had today is good for those who are recovering from addiction because it helps keep them out of the circles that once kept them trapped and away from families and their community. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First. Thanks, Crystal.